Hey folks, and welcome to this video on multicolored progress bar charts in Google Sheets. I had a question come through asking how to make them multicolored like this, you can see here. So I thought I'd throw together a quick video to show you how that's done. There's a couple of different ways that we can achieve this, like this example above here, and then this separate one in one cell like this. So let's dive in and take a look at how that's done. Okay, so first off, I'll just show you how to create these types of bar charts. Now, I did cover this in the previous video for Sparkline bar charts, but it's just displayed in a slightly different manner like this because we're tying it to a particular table of tasks here. So if you haven't checked that video out, I'll post the link above and I'll put the link in the description box below. But let's dive in and take a look how this is done here now. So if we jump over to the second sheet here, we're going to create that here. So this first one, first off, we need to look for a status in this column here and see if it matches this status that we've got on the left here. And if it does, then we'll display a certain color that we want. So this one's a little bit different to the previous examples I've done. So just work along with me to see how it's done. So we're gonna start with a spark line. And what we're going to do is we're gonna to need to create an array in this case, because we need to specify the number of, we need to count the number of items where this instance occurs down here also specify the total number of items in this list as well. So we'll open an array with the curly braces and we're gonna do a count if. So there it is there. We're gonna count this column here and we'll make this open-ended. We'll lock that for good measure. And we're gonna count if that equals what we've got in here. Now we want to lock this one, but we only want to lock it to this column here. We don't want it to, to move around. So when we drag this formula down, it will just keep going down so we need to toggle through to get the dollar sign in front of the, the column reference there. We can close our parentheses on that. That there is just giving us a count of one because there's only one instance in here. Now we need the semicolon for the second part of this array, which is going to be the total number of tasks that there are. So we'll use a count A function for this one. This one here. And we can count the total number of tasks we've got in here. We could count this column as well, but it doesn't really matter. Let's close the parentheses and then close the curly braces on that whole formula there. So this part here just gives us the, the value of one, and this part gives us a value of 10, because there's 10 tasks here, so we've got one and 10. Now we can move into the sparkline function, and we need to open up with the curly braces again for a sparkline, and we'll enter the chart type here. And that needs to be in double quotes, separated with a comma for the second part of the argument. In this case, we're going to do a bar chart. Then we move into the next argument, separated by the semicolon again. And we're going to do the max here, which is going to be, we can use this same count a function that we had earlier. So we can just copy this. So we're just saying that the max number of items you're going to find is going to be whatever this is here, which in this case is 10. Then we can separate again into the next argument, which is going to be our colors. So color one with the American spelling is going to be the red that we've got here in this backlog, which is F4CCCC. And into the last argument here for color two, and that one is going to be the gray that we've got. So that gray is that code there. We close our curly braces and close the parentheses on that there. And there we go, we get our result here. Now, if we change one of these, for example, to backlog, this will grow. And that's now 20%, if you like. Let's change that back. Now we're going to move this down here. We're going to copy this across and you can see. So what's happening now is it, oh, we didn't lock these. So let's just go back and lock these ones here so they don't move. And now when we copy this down, so everything remains in the in the correct places here. But what we want to do, the only change we need to make is this color change here. And so in here, we're going to change this to a different color, which is that yellowish color. And that should give us the yellow. There we go. And we can just copy this all the way down now, but we just want to change these, these colors here to the actual colors to match what we've got down here. Now, of course, you don't need to do this. This is just cosmetic, really. But that's the whole point of a multicolored bar chart. There's our blue for in progress. And then the last one is going to be this green color for completed. There we go. 
And of course we could do the, the formula at the end here to show how much of, of this has been completed or, or is as part of this whole group of, of tasks here. And so that's quite an interesting one here. So we'll do a equals count if. So we're counting this range here. Again, we'll make it open-ended and we'll lock it. If that one equals this term here, then we'll divide that by the count A of all of these here. So we'll open that back up again there. That's basically saying, how many are there? One, there's one instance of backlog down here. How many are there in total? Well, there's 10, so we're just creating a percentage here. I've already formatted this as a percentage here, but you'll need to, initially that would, if I reset that, it would be a decimal. So you just need to click this here to, to make it a, a percentage and you can drop the decimal points there. What we can do is these, we need to lock this one here. This one, it will come down anyway, but we could lock it just to the column again, just for good measure. And now what we can do here is we can just drag this down and then each one is checking the right, it's checking for completed and it's checking this list here as well. So we can see we've got 40% of the task complete here. 30% are in progress and so on. So there's a way of getting a multicolored bar chart showing in this case, the task list that we have here. But what if we wanna do this in one in one cell? Well, spark lines don't allow you to have more than two colors. So it's, it's a bit limited in that respect. And so the only way around it in a case like this would be to use the repeat and char function that we did before. So let's look at how that's done. All of these characters that I'm going to use here, I'll, I'll post the, the numbers that I'm using in the description box below. And I'll also put the link to the website where I got them from as well. So you can go and have a look there and, and go and find your own if you want to. So we'll start off in this one with the repeat and then we'll open up into the char function. And the char we're going to use in the first instance is going to be our completed tasks. So we're going to do, this is our code that we want to use here. And we're going to, so we're going to count, similar sort of thing, we're going to do a count if, in this range here, if that equals what we have in this cell here. And you can see there we've got the four, the four green circles now. Now I just use circles, but you can use any um, shape you want really. So there's there's four tasks complete down here. So we close both of those off there and now we just concatenate this with the next thing that we want. So we do the repeat again and a char. So the char in this one is going to be 128309. And we're going to do the count if again in this range, open-ended, if that equals in progress. And we get blue, the blue dots now, and you can see that there's three completed down here. So we close those parentheses off there and do another concatenation to join the next one. So we'll do a repeat and a char. And this code is going to be 128993. And the count if again, the same range open-ended if that equals this one and you can see we've got our two yellows there so that matches what we have down here and then lastly we do another concatenation of the repeat char and that code is going to be 128308 and the count if just to finish off here if that one equals this backlog here so there we go, that's the whole complete formula there. And so we've basically got four completed, three in progress, two not started and one on backlog there. And so that is how you can do it in one, one formula in one cell like that. And as I said, you can use any shape or color that you want. Um, I'll give you the link to that website where I got those from. And then we could just use this same formula here. If we just copy that and bring that down here. So that one is checking this completed cell here. So in this case, we're only going to see what's been completed but we can see that out of all of these tasks we've got here, 40% of them are completed. And I've also got this, a similar thing here, where we're showing four out of 10, and that's using a similar sort of count if, and we're just looking for the word completed in this case. I hope you found that useful guys. As I say, make sure you go check out the other two videos that I've got on the um, on the sparkline function and the char and repeat bar, bar chart as well. Those are really useful for getting to grips with everything there. I'm using the drop down chips here, and so you can see how they change and I've got a video on that as well. So make sure you go check that out because that's quite interesting. But that's all for today, folks. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.